<laughs> nice, so let's meet these. <laughs> Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Hi, teacher. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Can you just tell me more about wards? The key to wards is that they take time to charge. Not long, but you can't start casting with a fireball coming at you. Also, if your ward isn't negated by an incoming spell, it will recharge itself after a moment or two. Just be careful. Casting wards requires constant concentration, and you can easily find yourself drained of your magical reserves. Ah, okay. Take care now. I've seen that. Huh. Who are you? If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronarchs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Okay. Summoning undead isn't from the pond. By sure, no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages Guild and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Mm -hmm. There are many controversies outside of the college. Not within society, no. Many who practice within the School of Conjuration do so on their own, secretly. Thalion is the only one I know who is public about what he does. He was once my teacher here, but left the college years ago. Uh, why did Thalion leave the college? He didn't like the Archmage. Hated dealing with him. Hated having to answer to him. Thalion said he hated what this place was becoming. So he just left. Aaron found a note on his desk, and that was it. I understand he settled down in Hjalmarch. And his presence <coughs> there caused something of a problem. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, what's up there? Or here? It's too bad. <coughs> what's this? Flight. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I know. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Who are you, Talmor? Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world, or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you, all of you. Very closely. What is it you do here? I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. Does the Archmage often ask for advice? Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusting. Hiles hate them. Let's visit this Arcanium. Let's explore this college a bit. Who knows what secrets may we find? Uh, nice. So this is a library. Pretty cool. Hmm. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Mm. This is quite an impressive library. A mage is only as good as what he knows. I try to make sure as much knowledge is available as possible. We've been keeping this collection since the Second Era. Books have come and gone during that time, but it's mostly intact. Hmm. Are there any special books you're looking for? As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? 
Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. Hmm. Is there any college reasons I can't exist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Um, I'm not really, really interested in anything dangerous right now. Ah, uh, some other time, perhaps. What do you got for sale? Please make sure your hands are clean before touching anything, alright? Oh my god, tons of books. Can I sell some of these to you? Nope. I'm just fine. Old Dwemer book. Falmer sigils. Poem part two. Some are really. Hmm. Alright. Why don't we read one of these books? Black Arrow, Volume 1. Okay, I'll now read book aloud <laughs> like that mod. The Black Arrow Part 1 by Gorgic Gwyn. I was young when the Duchess of Woda hired me as an assistant footman at her summer palace. My experience with the ways of the titled aristocracy was very limited before that day. There were wealthy merchants, traders, diplomats and officials who had large operations in Elden Root and ostentatious palaces for entertaining, but my relatives were all far from those social circles. There was no family business for me to enter when I reached adulthood, but my cousin heard that an estate far from the city required servants. It was so remotely located that there were likely to be many applicants for the positions. I walked for five days into the jungles of Valenwood before I met a group of riders going my direction. They were three Bosmer men, one Bosmer woman, two Breton women, and a Dunmer man. Adventurous from the look of them. Are you also going to Maliba? asked Prolissa, one of the Breton women, after we had made our introductions. I know what that is, I replied. I'm seeking a domestic position with the Duchess of Voda. We'll take you to her gate, said the Dunmer Mr. Nakin pulling me up to his horse, but you would be wise not to tell her grace that students from Moliva escorted you, both unless you don't really want the position in her service. Hakin explained himself as we rode on. Moliva was the closest village to the Duchess estate, where a great and renowned archer had retired after a long life of military service. His name was Hiomast, and thought he was retired. He had begun to accept students who wished to learn the art of the bow. In time, when word spread of the great teacher, more and more students arrived to learn from their master. The Breton women uh, had come down all the way from western reach of High Rock. Akin himself had journeyed across the continent from his home near the great volcano in Morrowind. He showed me the ebony arrows he had brought from his homeland. I had never seen anything so black. From what we've heard, said Kopale, one of the Bosmer men, the Duchess is an Imperial whose army has been here even before the Empire was formed, so you might think that she was accustomed to the common people of Valenwood. Nothing could be further from the truth. She despises the village and the school most of all. I suppose she wants to control all the traffic in her jungle, loved Prolissa. I accepted the information with gratitude and found myself reading more and more my first meeting with the intolerant, intolerant Duchess. My first sight of the palace through the trees did nothing to assuage my fears. It was nothing like any building I had ever seen in Valenwood. 
a vast edifice of stone and iron with a jagged row of battlements like the jaws of a great beast. Most of the trees near the palace had been hewn away long ago. I can only imagine the scandal that must have been caused, and what fear the Bosmer peasants must have had of the Duchy of Boda to have allowed it. In their steed was a wide grey-green moat circling in a ring around the palace, so it seemed to be on a perfect, on a perfected artificial island. I had seen such sights and tapestries from High Rock and the Imperial Province, but never in my homeland. There'll be a guard at the gate, so we'll leave you here, said Akin, stopping his horse in the road. It would be best for you if you weren't damned by association with us. I thanked my companions and wished them good luck with their schooling. They rode on and I followed on foot in a few minutes' time. I was on the front gate, which I noticed was linked to tall and ornate railings to keep the compound secure. When the gatekeeper understood that I was there to inquire about a domestic position, he allowed me past and signaled to other guard across the open lawn to extend the drawbridge and allow me to cross the moat. There was one last security measure, the front door, an iron monstrosity with the wood coat of arms across the top, reinforced by more strips of iron and a single golden keyhole. The man standing guard unlocked the door and gave me passage into the huge gloomy grey stone palace. Her grace greeted me in her drawing room. She was thin and wrinkled like a reptile, cloaked in a simple red goon. It was obviously that she never smiled. Our interview consisted of a single question. Do you know anything about being a junior footman in employment of an imperial noblewoman? Her voice was like ancient leather. No, your grace. Good. No servant ever understands what needs to be done, and I particularly dislike those thing they do. You're engaged. Life at the palace was joyless, but the position of a junior footman was very undemeaning. I had nothing to do on most days except to stay out of Duchess' sight. At such times, I usually walked two miles down the road to Moliva. In some ways, there was nothing special or unusual about the village. There are thousands of identical pa uh, places in Balenwood, but on the hillside nearby was Master Hiamas Archery Academy, and I would often take the lunch and watch the practice. Police and Akin would sometimes meet me afterwards. With Akin, subjects of conversation very seldom strayed far from archery. Though I was very fond of him, I found Police a more enchanting companion, not only because she was pretty for a Breton, but also because she seemed to have interests around outside the realm of marksmanship. There's a circus in High Rock I saw when I was a little girl called the Quill Circus. She said during one of our walks through the woods, they've been around for as long as anyone can remember. You have to see them if you ever can. They have plays and sideshows and the most amazing acrobats and archers you've ever seen. That's my dream, to join them someday when I'm good enough. How will you know when you're a good enough archer, I asked. She didn't answer, and when I turned, I realized that she had disappeared. I looked around, bewildered, until I heard laughter from the tree above me. She was perched on a branch, grinning. I may not join as an archer, maybe I'll join as an acrobat, she said. Or maybe as both. I figured that uh, Valenwood would be the place to go to see what I could learn. You got all those great teachers to intim intimidate in the trees here, those ape men. She called up, bracing her left leg before springing forward on her right. The second she had leapt across to a neighboring branch, I found it difficult to keep talking to her. Dame guy, you mean? I stammered. Aren't you nervous up at that height? It's a cliche, I know, she said, jumping to an even higher branch, but the secret is not to ever look down. Do you mind coming down? Well, we should, anyhow, said. But uh, she was a good thirsty, thirty feet up now, balancing herself, arms outstretched on a very narrow branch. She gestured towards the gate, just barely visible on the other side of the road. This tree is actually as close as I want to get to your Duchess Palace. 
I held back a gasp as she dove off the branch, somersaulting until she landed on the ground, knees slightly bent. That was the trick, she explained. Anticipating the blow before it happened, I expressed to her my confidence that she would be a great attraction at the Quill Circus, of course. I know now that never was to be. That day, as I recall, I had to return early. It was one of the rare occasions when I had to work of a sort to do. Whenever the Duchess had guests, I was able to be at Palace. How long is this book? Oh my god, oh. It does not say that I had any particular duties except to be some uh, seen standing in uh, at attention in the dining room. The stewards and maids worked hard to bring the food and clear the plates afterwards, but the footmen were purely decorative, a formality. But at least I was an audience for the drama to come. Long book. Huh. Oh, nice. A bit boring, but nice. Hmm. Good graphics. Let's continue now. This took a ton of time, I think. Yeah, nine minutes, I think so. Of reading. How much pages is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 pages, oh my god. And never mind, let's go.